Alright. Alright. Forgot my water. water. Oh. <laughs> Get you some of that. Oh. I can't help but laugh because I did it three times. Three times the first day we were here. Alright, it's a problem. <laughs> Dude, you'll be rubbing that spot today. And it'll be like Look. swollen. Yeah, you got your yeah, you got your dome oh. right in there. Did I have a sh sh I had some short granddads or something, man. I'm not real sure what was going on back then, but they were a little on the short side. All right, I'm awake. Where we gotta go? I guess go. We gotta go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on with it. Come on with it. What you doing, boy? We got to go. We got to. That's what I've been saying. We got to go. You know what time it is. We got to go. <laughs> Brandon just got out of bed. He actually got out of bed oh. before. Yes. He's turned a new leaf, though. He did get out of bed before me this morning. Really? He did. I couldn't believe it. I walked out. I was shocked. I opened the video up. I'm like, what's up, guys? Oh, my. Hey, Brandon. We're on our way just making sure that my... My, my 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 caddy, my my other my other side of this whole equation's there, making sure. All right, buddy, I'll see you down there. See you at the, see you at the ramp. All right, bye. Get the got Andy Morgan right there. Andy Morgan's gonna be out there with a chicken spoon and forty foot of water under some trees. <laughs> all right, here here, we got all fifty six people, I believe, lined up here at this ramp. Look here, look here, look here. Look at there, there's my man. There's my man. Check it out. Check out the shirt. What? What? I like it, dude. I like it. They're only $15. Really? Ah. I have two of them. I know. All right, look here. We got more team support. My Uncle Bob. My Uncle Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's right. Say, Billy. What's going on, hey. girls? Hey. Ladies, ladies. Hey, Mama. How are you? How we doing? Mm, good to see you. Billy. Hello, hello. Billy. Billy. Your shirt. Glad y'all made it. We need one. Yeah, I like it a lot. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody, this is my sister, Laura. Hi. We're here to root. Yeah, we have my nephew, Blake. We're here to root. Blake. Little Blake. He's got eat. toast. He's got toast. toast. And he's Team oh, Martin today. Oh, let me see your shirt. I do. I like it. Oh, I man. I want a shirt. Yeah, Mills. Ah, tell Dad that. I want a shirt. <laughs> I want a shirt. <laughs> I want a shirt too. I need a shirt. It's unlike any schooling fish I've ever seen because usually when they're schooling like this, I mean, it's lights out. You just throw in there and you catch them. But they're eating little tiny shad. They're like the size of a thumbnail. When you catch one, they spit up all these little shad. I don't know which way to go. They're busting over here. They're busting over there. There's a group of bigger fish that swims around oh, like that one right there. That was a good one. There he is. little spot. Just got to figure out how they want it. Got 
he came after it. There he is. Alright, number one. If I can just get these dudes to bite. There's a there's bat there's a bag in here. I'm just telling you, there's a bag in here. Number one right there. Not a real big one, but there's bigger ones in there, I promise you. I just gotta I just gotta trade the bait with them. Trade the bait. You know what trade the bait means? That means when they're chasing a little minnow, I need to see what direction the minnow's going, which direction the fish is feeding. Try to land there, trade the bait. If I can do that four more times, I'll have a limit. I don't want to throw at the little ones, I want to throw at the big ones. I don't think he's a keeper. Nope. There's some big ones in here. There's a lot of little ones, but there's some big ones in here. That's a good one. Number one. Number one. Pound and a quarter. My boat spins around. It's getting that bait stirred up. And the bait's starting to scatter and panic. Yeah. Fish take advantage of it. like eight of them bite at it before I caught this one. He ain't no keeper. A lot of different sizes of fish in here. Come on, Matt. We gotta get lucky and catch two or three more. I have a couple more schooling spots that they're probably biting a little better on. Oh, that's a good one there. These fish are weird, man. I only got one right now. They just won't, I mean, I can't get them to bite. I've thrown 50 different lures at them. I mean, there's stripers mixed in with bass, but they're just, they're eating like the smallest bait on the whole lake. I think it's a keeper. Oh my God. No. I've been here since daylight, dude. It's. It's not easy, it's just little. Hey everyone, say hi to Matt. Matt is a, a hole poacher. He's a hole poacher. Poacher, I can't say it right. Poacher? Hole. Would you agree? I get no respect. Hey, I gave him this spot. Yeah. Nah, we're, we share information, so it's all good. Yeah, we're, we're good. He's good. He's good. They just went off live before I could correct it. Sorry. <laughs> this was where I was gonna start, but I found those other fish and ended up coming, coming here second. Me and Mark Rose pulled up at the same time. Well, we got Anger of the Year, Mark Rose. Right there. Probably gonna do some damage with a crankbait. He had a phenomenal year this year. Kind of stinks we found the same fish, but we pulled up here at the same time. So it is what it is at this point. I was gonna start here, but I found those other fish we started on this morning, and these are a little easier to catch for the most part. But I just thought there was bigger ones over in that other spot. Better opportunity maybe, but looks like that was a wrong call. As good as they're busting here now. We got us a keeper. No, I don't think we do. I just got him, gosh darn it. I got him hooked in the belly, that's why. I'll take them like that. I'll take them any way I can get them. A lot more little ones in here than there was in practice. Practice there was actually a lot of 13 inchers. And then there was some big ones. I'm seeing way more 11 and 12 inchers today. Funny thing is I'm like, two or three bites away from being in really good shape and I could easily not get it or I could get it in a, ma in a matter of seconds. Missed it. That one didn't. 
That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, you're not a good one, but he might keep. I don't know if he'll keep or not. No, I don't think he will. Nope. Twelve and a half. Heartbreakers. Oh, that was a good one. God dang it! He pulled off. Dang, I hooked that one and he felt good. Unless I had him foul hook, he felt real good. There was like four in this little pocket the other day. One came out, looked at my bait, he waked up on it, just didn't get it. I don't see the other ones yet. Got him. Another one with him. Did you see the one with him? That right there. We'll get five of these to bite. We'll be all right. That's a good one. I saw that one in practice. For some reason, that other spot wasn't good, but I've got a bunch more places. If I can just get five of them to bite, it'll be good. All right. Well, that's a blessing. Thank you, Lord. There's a four pounder over there. There was. And then there was a big one on that point. Hopefully, I can catch both those fish. There's another. Another big one right up there. there. That's him. That's not the one. That's not the one, but. Oh, yeah. Number four. I'm probably just going to keep that wacky worm in my hand. I mean, that's not a big one. I'm pretty sure I missed one right there. Cause that's exactly where that big one was sitting. I mean, there's a million bluegill right here. Literally. I just don't see them, man. The other day, I mean, you would just see them. Not everywhere, but like, quite a few. Especially when you got around like a lot of bluegill. There's one, a little one. He's 13 inches, dude. I don't think he is. Hmm. Be nice. He's a little long. That'd be a blessing. Oh, look at there. Look at there, boys. Number five. How about that? A little old cutie, though. He's so cute. Got to put him over on the infant side. Put him in there with the little baby. That's five, though. How about that? We ain't winning no tournament right now, but at least we got five, my friend. Yeah. That's right. Now I can just settle down and try to look for a big old bite. When you don't have that limit, it just bothers you. I ain't gonna fish a lot of this pocket. I just saw a wolf pack cruising around on this bank here, so I'm gonna... God! Ah. The keeper, but it's not a big one. Not a bad one, though, is it? He's hooked good. There was another one with him, too. Long and skinny. Number two, I need at least one more bite before 12, and that gives us four hours so it's 222 and we have got four fish in the boat we should have had five we've had some missed opportunities but it's been slower than i thought it would be today we got cranking this morning on our schooling fish and uh, missed a few opportunities and i decided to dedicate the rest of the day to top water which has been a grind got him I don't even think he's a keeper. Did you see how hard that fish hit? Huh. Wow. I'd have bet you a million dollars that would have been a keeper the way he bit that thing. I need a Hail Mary. I got an hour and 20 minutes, roughly, to fish. I mean, I don't need but one big bite. I mean, I need a, you know, a five pounder, but I mean, they're in here. Unlucky number 12. No. <laughs> oh, I'm not complaining because I'm telling you, I'm glad I caught five. I mean, it could have been disastrous. Day one is in the books. Hopefully you guys came to the expo and hung out. I'm not sure how many of y'all came. Let me know who all came to the uh, Forestwood Cup. Pretty cool deal. You know, that's downtown, weigh-ins downtown in the in the convention center. So we're gonna weigh our fish inside a big arena. It's, it's really cool. FLW has a bunch of uh, 
vendors there, all the tackle companies are there, they're selling rods and tackle and reels and, and all the pros are hanging out and get autographs, so it's a really big, awesome thing. So let me know if you guys enjoyed it and uh, drop me some pictures on Instagram of the Team Martin shirts if you guys picked up a few at the expo. Tag me, of course. Let me know. Team SMC. Championship Sunday. This is real life. Put that in the video. Brandon, this is real life. Yeah. They so, are a bunch of <laughs> hoodlums. Hoodlums. All right, so crazy. here's the deal. They're crazy. They're crazy. I don't know what place. What place am I in? 18th? No, 16th? you're in 16th. 16th. How about that? Huh. Top 16. Who would have thought? But if you're not first, you're last. But here's the deal. Can't win it today. I've got myself in a you know, 16th place. Not bad. Blessing, to be honest with you. i got to figure out some stuff tomorrow. So, all I do know is I'm going to go hang out with the family, all my family. We're going to go eat dinner. We're going to get the boat ready for day two. So next time you see me, it's going to be tomorrow morning. Okay? All right. Be gone. I have no idea where I'm going to fish. Like, I, I didn't even sleep last night, dude. I've never seen a lake fish so tough. And there is three and four and five pounders in this lake. And I, I don't honestly, they might have died. I mean, nobody knows it yet. All right. It's time. It's, it's time to go, guys. Day two, FLW, Forestwood Cup. I'm confused. And I've never been real confused in fishing. But I am a little on the confused side. Only because I don't know where to catch a fish. And those other ones are like, impossible to catch. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. All right. There we go. There we go. Brandon, look at this. This is, this is good. Fisherman's Code. Early to bed. Early to rise. We're definitely early to rise right now. Fish like hell and make up lies. <laughs> yes. It's <laughs> your code for the day. I like that. And then there's another. Look, they have that lure. Look at that. Look at that. It's an old clear spook. I wonder what they call it fish on that. I think I will be using this today. All right, I'm motivated now. I actually know what I'm going to do. I'm excited about... Wait, you're actually going to use it? Yes, I'm actually going to use that today. <laughs> Might as well. i got nothing else going on. Day two starts now. Oh, God. I just dropped the camera. Oh, man. It's okay. I caught it. We're here. We're here. We're here. It's not good. that Matt, Matt's having a mechanical issue of some sort. I see him over there, bent over in his live wells. He had some kind of live well problem yesterday, which um, I don't know what's going on with him today. What's up? Picture? How yes, doing? sir. Good. How about you? Good. 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 Jump in here. Thank All you, right. sir. Yeah, good thank luck. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, dude? How you doing? All right. We have my marshal today. How are you doing, sir? Good. What's your name? Steve McDonald. Steve, pleasure to meet you. Steve's going to hang out with me today. He's going to take some pictures for FLW, take some pictures for me. It's going to be some good stuff. Came out of nowhere. Again. I'm sorry, man. Hey, it's all right, buddy. It was slick, calm, and then all of a sudden, boom. Those things happen. Yo. Ooh. I'll go. I won't do that again.
Dude, they're eating it. Dude, what is going on with these fish? They're like choking it. Maybe. I doubt it. All right, broke the ice. Broke the ice. Well, that didn't work. Fishing those trees. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to go shallow or go out in deep. It's got a little haze today, so the shallow bite might be good. I think I'm gonna go shallow. God, they're just chasing up and down. How are they not reacting to it? <laughs> like they must all, but look at them. I'm, see, I'm standing here watching that. That's what they are. Yep. 48 pumps later and I caught one. <laughs> he wasn't coming off, I'll tell you that. And one or two fish a pocket, they get... God! That was my fault, that was all my fault. He hit it hard. I thought he had it, he yanked it under. <clears throat> I saw him, he was decent. He wasn't a big one, but he was decent. Eat it. Got him. <laughs> that was funny as hell. I saw you look back down there. I thought he didn't spot He was right behind it. He will keep, won't he? He's actually fat and healthy. Number one, I'm pretty sure. All day long. Mm, not big, but we got to start somewhere, right? Of them. Oh, he pulled off! Son of a... God darn it! There was like five of them there. There was a big one too. A three? That's big for here. <laughs> All right, guys, midday update. I'm sitting on one. Uh, I have about over four hours of fishing to finish out my limit. I just had a nice one on, three pounder, solid three pounder. Hooks pulled out. Just one of those things. That's about all I've had so far. Seems a lot tougher today. I'm confident I can get four more good bites shallow. It just seems like that day. So I'm gonna stick with the top water and the wacky worm. See what happens. Oh, finally. Finally. All right. Thank you, Lord. All right. Three more to go. There it is. That's a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're three. We're getting there. Getting there. Oh, dang it. He got it, dude. Yeah. yeah. Gonna be one other pocket I probably rerun today, and that's just cause I, there was a local sitting in where I wanted to be fishing yesterday. He was like, his boat was like on top of one of my brim beds that I had a fish marked on and he was like sitting on top of it like in two foot of water casting around <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what he was doing but he may have been he may have been plucking them rim I don't know got him keeper god there's like five with him dude mm, not a big one but all of them were this size or bigger number two there was a nice one back here on a brim bed. I may catch him, who knows? Two and a half, two and three quarter maybe. 
gosh. That's not a good one either, but he'll keep. He's keeper, and you don't have to measure him. Number three. Number three. Got it. Number three. Not big, but hey, pound a quarter, pound a half. Yeah. Five of them every day is going to win this thing. I got him too. That's him. That's, that's the one I saw sitting over there. God! That's, that's, that's not the one. He's a keeper. But that's not the one I saw sitting over there. God, don't do it. Don't. God! Mm. That's, uh, I've got three bass. I've had like 12 blow-ups. I've lost three. It's not, not been a good day. You're a full-size shad. You're in good shape. Full-size shad, man. You're just swimming around like, man, I love this lake. All my friends are here. We don't get stressed about anything. We just chill. We just chill. We just swim around wherever we want to swim. Yeah, these shad, man, they got it going on, dude. Full-size shad here, man, are like king. Hell, they might even eat the bass. They might be like cannibal shad. Something. Something's going on. Ah. Maybe. Oh yeah. Finally. Maybe. I think he's 13. Yep. Well, Forest Wood Cup 2018 didn't get it done. Oh, missed opportunities. That is, uh, that's bad. A lot of bad deals today. Bad deal on breaking your back. Bad, de bad deal on losing a three pounder on top water. Bad deal on losing a, top, a three pounder on a wacky worm. That's bad. It's just bad any way you look at it. Please don't unsubscribe. I apologize for how crummy this lake is. The lack of... What was that? <laughs> Old Spice? Old Spice. For the lack of fish catches and excitement. I, although the most exciting thing today was I, almost, I literally almost broke my partner's back. Like it almost threw him out of the boat. I, I hit a wave, and like a rogue wave, and he just bounced up, dude, and he just started bouncing everywhere. And he could not stop bouncing. And he's like big. He's a big guy. And he's going, oh, 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 oh. He's just falling all over everywhere. Scared me. He's like, my back is broke. My back is broke. I'm like, oh my gosh. I can't feel my legs. Yes. <laughs> Call my wife. Yeah, I can do it. We can do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get in there tight. I like that transition where the water levels are falling, temperatures are rising, all these different factors, and it just it makes the fishing tougher, and that's what's going on right now. There's actually good fish in this lake. Will you please welcome Evan Rude Pro Scott Martin. Eight pounds, 12 ounces on day one. He has four more on day two. 
That'll go. Six pounds, nine ounces. That's got you in 16th place, Scott. So I know it's not where you want to be, even though you, you've got a great finish in this thing, but you're all about winning the cup, man. You know, I, it, it, I'm a little disappointed in, that, in myself because I made a couple mistakes today. I lost two key fish over three pounds, and, and just one of them was completely my fault, and the other one just came off. But, you know, in these ultra-tough tournaments like this, you can't have mistakes. And everybody back there probably missed a fish or two this week, and it's going to cost them big. But, boy, when you're out there grinding as hard as you can all day long, and you have that opportunity and you lose it, 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 it really burns, you know. But I'll tell you what, to, to be here in this crowd and see you guys, it's awesome. Uh, I, I hope we come back. I hope I have a chance to win this thing again. And uh, I do want to say hi to my wife and my family back there in the back. My mom came out. It's a, it's a special deal. I really wanted to be here tomorrow, standing on stage with Forrest Wood out in the crowd and have an opportunity to maybe pull off a victory. But the Lord blessed me this week. You know, I'm gonna finish exactly where he wanted me to finish. And, uh, and that's the way it's gonna be. Matt Airy, part of the Pennzoil Marine Pro Team, Shelby, North Carolina. Seven pounds on day one. He's got four more today. That goes six pounds, 14 ounces. It's a nice minivan you got there, ladies. Tell me there ain't no kids in the back. <laughs> All right, we have the Cray Cray family in the van. We have the Cray Cray guys in the truck. We have my, have my boy Blake. What's up? Hey, Blake. What's up? That's, that's, that's my man right there. Got the girls back there. All right, guys, look, here's the deal. Billy, Billy, thank you for coming out. Yeah. Team support. Yeah, man. Charlie? Yeah, man. Charlie, you did good. You did good. My wife. My, my beautiful sister, my beautiful kids, everybody, thank y'all for the support. Thank you. Love you too. I love you too. Love you too. I'm so proud of you. We are very proud of you. Didn't finish last. Ha, how about that? How about thin apples? How about that? How about that? All right, so here, oh, no, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Laura, come here. Come here. Come here. Close the video out. Tell them. Tell them thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, that was kind of good. That was like a.